There is now a very large space of decentralized assets, represented on a number of different blockchains. Making these blockchains communicate with each other in a way that allows trading or moving assets between different chains is a challenge, mainly because blockchains are designed to be self-contained ecosystems. The ability to transfer assets between blockchains may increase transaction throughput and provide developers with more flexibility, by allowing them to design digital assets that leverage the capacities and capabilities of multiple blockchains. Data and value can be transferred across different networks. Different chains can interact and share data, which results in making it easier to use different blockchain networks. This phenomenon is called blockchain interoperability. The ability to cross blockchain networks in this way is still largely theoretical, but many projects have made great strides in their studies to find a solution to interoperability. Today we will investigate a blockchain which is designed to provide interoperability, by allowing people to transfer cryptocurrency, across different blockchains. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. Let's discover the REN protocol, which is an open, and community-driven protocol that enables the movement of value between blockchains. The first layer is the Zero Knowledge Transaction Layer. This layer provides the user a place for storing and transferring REN tokens, without revealing the amount of the transaction or how much the user has in their cryptocurrency wallet. The second layer, the Interoperability Layer, handles all of the trustless swaps on the blockchains. The last layer, the Dark Pool, has secret order matching engines that process orders only the owners know of. REN's core product is now REN VM, which brings interoperability to decentralized finance. It is a decentralized protocol for the creation of Ethereum-based tokens that represent non-Ethereum-based cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Zcash. These tokenized representations open the Ethereum-specific DeFi ecosystem to other cryptocurrency markets, thus enabling inter-chain token liquidity and interoperability. The REN VM is operated by a network full of what REN calls, dark nodes. In reality, these are very similar to Bitcoin miners or Ethereum miners that participate in the network to add security and confirm transactions. The dark nodes are responsible for verifying that a user has deposited the asset. Once the asset deposit is confirmed, the dark nodes mint a token representing ownership of that asset. Dark nodes also provide computing power and storage space on the REN network. Dark nodes are decentralized and permissionless, they cannot block a user from minting or redeeming a token. They are called dark nodes because the people running them can't actually see how much cryptocurrency is being converted and validated, or where it's being sent through their machines. They use an algorithm called Shamir's secret sharing algorithm. It is a cryptographic principle that divides secret data into parts held by different participants. Lastly, REN bridges. To swap assets across blockchains, the REN virtual machine accepts tokens on one chain, and creates new tokens representing the original ones on another chain through its REN bridge. To sum up, REN works as a bridge between two cryptocurrencies to bring a coin without smart contracts to another coin that does have smart contracts so that you can do more with it. Right now, REN can bring Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Zcash from their networks to Ethereum. Cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about the REN? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tap the subscribe button 